first i want to apologize for the lighting that is a pure white background and if i change the light in any way shape or form it'll just be a big bright ass light so i need the light to focus on the screen to make it look you know presentable but ladies and gentlemen we are here for the boss baby 2 family business this is the sequel to the 2017, I want to say, that first movie came out for the Boss Baby. It could be later than that. I don't know. 2015, maybe. I do not know. But this is the follow-up sequel. We have Tim Templeton. He now has a family. Beautiful wife. Two beautiful daughters. Tia... Tina, Tina is one, she is the youngest. She was introduced in like the ending of the first movie and she was wearing the suit and everything. So we kind of knew at that point that we were getting a sequel. And his oldest daughter, Tabitha, who is getting ready to go to this school called the Acorn, or the, A the Acorn Project or something. And Big boy Ted is now all grown up, he's in a business, he's, he's like working his own business, he's the manager, he is the boss. And I, I, I want to talk about this because I mentioned it in my vlog and I have to mention it here. The other babies that were in the first movie, Jimbo, or I think it's Jimbo, was the big fat kid who liked cookies. He is now the mayor. And he's married to Stacy, who was the other little girl in this group. And then you have the three triplets. They became police officers. And not only did Jimbo and Stacy, you know, become the mayor and get married, they also have a kid who we see in this acorn thing, and he loves glue. <laughs> That's the kid's trope. He loves glue. Now, when Ted shows up, he obviously still doesn't get... He doesn't have a good relationship with Tim. So they kind of argue. And then Tina, once she outs herself, brings them to Baby Core, where there's this giant statue of Ted after the events of the first movie. And she kind of explains that the owner of this acorn school is looking to brainwash everyone into thinking that parents are useless. But it turns out that this guy is actually a baby as well. As Ted finds out after they take this potion that lasts for 48 hours, they take this potion, they become you know, the younger selves again to infiltrate this school. And Ted is the one who finds out that the guy who runs this is a baby and he's got these boss ninja babies things. And in one of the classes, there's this really weird, creepy girl who's like, don't look at me or anything. And she's really weird. She teleports in the movie because she's that really weird girl. Ted also has this horse, Pegasus, that has a real disliking to Tim, but by the end of the movie kind of has, you know, a better relationship. Tabitha in this movie, she's obviously in this school and she is nervous about this pageant that's coming up because she has to perform this big number. Tim is the one who kind of helps her through this by going under this alias called Marco's Lightspeed. He has to disguise himself while he's in the school undercover. And 
if he wasn't the father and if there was still like classmates, I could have seen them being, you know, <laughs> I don't want to say a couple, but you know, good friends, but they, they give off that vibe that she, she didn't know it would have been, oh, how's your father? No, oh <laughs> God, shut up, Ryan. I mean, overall, this, this movie was fine. I, I, I said in my, my vlog, um, on Friday, that there were certain points that I was like, okay, what what is happening here? It does have a happy-ish wedding. Wedding? <laughs> what? Ending. <laughs> so, <laughs> it does have a good ending to it. Um, where they defeat this guy, but they don't, like, put him in jail or expose him or anything. They actually find his real parents, because apparently he ran away when he was younger and then he started up this company this acorn academy thing and ted ends up getting tim a statue of his own because obviously he's seen the one of baby core and he was like hold on i did stuff in the first movie as well but apparently to everyone else that just apparently didn't happen ted ted and tim's Parents also show up, so the parents from the first movie come back and they're all grown up now. They just come back and you see them getting brainwashed by this app that this guy invented. So, you know, there's there's also a bully in this movie who's a dick to Tabitha, but when he sees her performing, he's like, whoa, damn, she's actually good. And she is. It, it's a beautiful song that I might actually react to on the reaction channel. Because it is good, trust me, but yeah, that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it. I, I can't think of anything else to say about this movie other than the fact there could potentially be a third movie. Because at the end of the movie, Tina's little phone starts ringing, but she kind of leaves it, but Tim's wife picks it up and she actually starts talking and she's like i knew it i knew something was up so is there gonna be a third movie the boss baby free i i don't know i don't know what they would do with a third movie i i was surprised you know they were even doing um a fourth movie or a, th yeah, a second movie sorry because when the sec when the first movie ended tim and ted were still in their young form when they got Tina. So how the f <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm stumped for answers there, ladies and gentlemen, but that's gonna do it for this video. Nothing tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Uh, nothing on Thursday. Friday uh, is my dear Evan Hansen video. Basically what that is, is just me talking about what I think is the best scene from that movie. And I'll go into more detail on Friday. I wanted to go and see Dune last night, but I decided against it. It's two and a half hours, that movie. That's like Marvel movie level. So I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on it. I'm kind of just thinking, oh, we'll go see Eternals next week, because Marvel Eternals comes out next week on the 5th, even though I start my new job on the 1st, and the 5th is a Friday, so I'm going to be up at my training, so I might just even go from my training straight to Eternals. I'm undecided yet on what I'm going to do there. But I'll keep you guys in the loop. I still got a few more things to do this week alone. So, yeah. Kind of getting hungry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will see you on Friday. And we'll talk a bit more then. The Boss Baby 2. I would watch it again. I know I said in my vlog, I was like, yes and no, but... I, I think I would definitely watch it again if it was like a, like a Saturday night or something and I had nothing to do. I'd just be like, you know what? Whack on the boss baby too. <laughs> I have no life.
my hat. 